Hey everyone. Uh, so I've been making a maker. Uh, there's the basic tool set, and I'm just going to show you examples of it working, and then a little insight into it. Um, so you can test the game. Camera zooms in. There's some stuff with the camera still, obviously. Um, but when you stop, it resets everything. Uh, that includes these little boxes here, which give you coins. Um, so these tile sets are also, as you can see, it's putting only the top piece on the top one. Uh, you can mix tile sets and it will still put the top on top. Uh, so that's that part. If you die, it ends the testing area. Um, and you can save scenes, so let's name this Test 3. And we'll save it online. And now if I load Test 2, uh, it gets it all off the server and stuff like that. Um, right now the coin boxes give you five coins, but eventually they'll be whatever you drag into them. Uh, so this the camera is platform based, so if you are too far below the camera or if you jump up to a new level, the camera moves up with you and we fall. Uh, there's also terminal velocity and as you can see the coin blocks are done and now they're reset. Uh, you can middle click and drag to move around. Uh, you don't have to do this type of motion because uh, it's getting the axis. So you can just drag off the screen. Um, I'm limiting the camera to uh, the bounds of the area, which right now is, I think, 40 by 40. Uh, and then we can load up our own test level again and it takes a minute sometimes there it goes uh, the, it's loading a PHP a PHP script on uh, with MySQL uh, so sometimes the server can be a little slow but it's not too bad um, so I'll show you a little bit about the objects so this is our coin block. Uh, this is actually a GUI button, the GUI button that appears up here. Uh, it has a container object which contains the actual uh, scene object. Uh, and this is the coin block, so it has an object type. And then this object has its own script for when you hit it, it has a repeat rate of 5, and it sp spawns the coin object. Uh, it also has the object up here has an animation. Uh, so by default, it hit, does the block hit, and that's so that when you paint, uh, it does that spiffy little animation. Um, and then it goes to idle, and then when you hit the block, or when you uh, stop testing the game, it calls this reset, which just puts uh, the sprite renderer back to full transparency and uh, all that stuff. Um, so I'll grab a tile set here, and it's a similar structure, uh, the GUI object, uh, the container, and then all the different parts. Uh, the top center is what I'm using as the base for when you're dragging it around in the scene to view. Uh, it's actually moving all nine pieces, but it's just the, the other eight pieces are disabled. Um, and then it act or calls these based on whether there's a tile to the left, right, up, down, whatever. Uh, right now it's just doing up and down actually, but eventually I'll do the whole nine slice type system. Uh, I can activate these.
and so you can see that's just the base platform and all the different pieces and I'll grab the other tile set and show you it's the same exact structure uh, so that it can load in real time well not real time but can load from the database and generate the structure properly even if it's messed up in the editor somehow um, so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching